I am a nuclear reactor and this is what I know by Christina Consolo. You know me, there are lots of us around. We sit behind concrete walls and high fences and most of us can boast of a killer view. My outside is pretty plain but inside I have 10,000 parts. As a nuke plant you're lucky because you almost always have it. You almost always get a waterfront property. This is so if my insides ever get too hot or the power goes out, whoops, it's easy to scoop up water and dump it on me. If my emergency diesel generators go out, which happens a lot, they can sometimes use fire hoses to cool me off too. I'm glad the NRC spokesman brought it up at their other day brought it up the other day when Hurricane Sandy happened. A lot of people were probably worried about that. This exact same thing happened to some of my friends in Japan. Fire hoses seem to work okay for them, but I'm not sure, because no one really talks about it. I think there might have been some explosions or something. Man, do they have a nice view from here, though. And I heard the Pacific Sushi is really good. Some of us are right next to big cities, so we never get lonely. When people see you a lot, it makes you seem like you belong. Sometimes they paint pretty pictures on us, to make us look more friendly. I hope they paint some birds and butterflies on me. I don't see many, too many of those around anymore. Some days I look around me and I see all that wind, water, and sun, and I wonder why people haven't used those things to generate power too. Maybe they're just lazy. After all, they use it in crazy, they use it like crazy in third world countries like Morocco. I wish I didn't vent so much steam too, because it really obscures my view. Some days it's really bad, especially if uh, we have a hot shutdown, but people have to work inside of me so I can work properly and things don't melt down. Radiation in the steam is pretty small, so unless you go outside a lot, you're probably okay. I'm not, why, I'm not sure why so many kids around here keep getting brain cancer though. Maybe they sit too close to the TV. Even if we don't sit by a big city, we still aren't lonely. There are lots of security guards around in case a nun tries to throw blood on us or something. Lots of people don't seem to like us, probably because they think we're dangerous. But that's silly. There have only been a few big accidents that have happened, like Chernobyl and Fukushima, which killed lots of people, poisoned the environment forever, and made the ones that didn't sick or cause deformities in their kids. But when you think about how great nuclear power is, it all evens out. Most of these people that live around nuclear reactors are poor anyway. The people that own me probably don't think they really count. And of course, the 99 other nuclear accidents that have happened, most people don't even know about, even though they're listed on Wikipedia. They don't like to talk they don't like us to talk about it either. And you never ever talk about the spent fuel and nuclear waste, how precarious the fuel pools are, especially in the 23 Mark 1 BWR reactors in the United States. The same style as Fukushima. That freaks people out a lot. I hear some people that work inside me get, are getting scared though because we break down so much. All you have to do is look at the NRC event notification page to see. But it's not my fault that I'm old. My owners don't want to spend the money to fix me up right. They just fix stuff when it breaks. Hopefully it won't be a big break because then people will talk probably about us even more. I'm actually not too worried about the election either because it looks like both Obama and Romney are big fans of nuclear power. All of their friends are the people that own us. Their friends all own the news media too, so since we give them lots of money, they don't talk bad about us. Now the Green Party, those people are just plain scary. They could possibly shut us down. But no one really listens to them. Most people are too busy watching TV, I think. I should know, I make all the electricity for them. The really funny thing is, electricity's, electricity even isn't in the reason I was made. I was made to be a bomb-making factory. I kick plutonium out like a person craps after a big meal at a dirty taco stand. 
Then people from the government come along, scoop up this plutonium, and take it to labs all over the country. There, they figure out ways it can be used against other countries we don't like, or as countries whose oil we want. Too bad our soldiers get sick from it too. I guess my owners don't care about them either. Even if people got really mad at us, the NRC who is like the babysitter that lets you get away with, with stuff your parents won't, will relicense me endlessly so I can stay here forever. So I'm really not too worried about things. I would really hate to lose this view. Maybe they will paint some fish on me too, because all the ones around here seem to be dead. Thanks, Christine. Enjoy what you can.